journey began with Eva YouTube series. In today's video, we'll be talking about some of the unique characteristics of a Kamba people of Kenya. Each tribe presents itself with some unique characteristics which usually differentiate it from other communities. So today's video is titled The Special Kamba People Edition. I promise you people it's gonna be a fun and informative video. So at this point, can you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down below about what you think are some of the unique characteristics of the Akamba people. Then, if you haven't subscribed, please do consider subscribing at the end of this video. For the new members who have recently joined us, you're aware that my content currently is revolving around the Ukampani region which is found in the eastern part of Kenya. That's where I currently reside. So expect a lot of content from this part of Kenya because for so many years a lot of negative stories have been told about Ukampani which is one of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel to bring to you guys the positive side of Ukampani because there's so much to tell about the Ukampani region. So today's video is anchored around the Akamba people of Kenya who reside in the eastern part of Kenya. We Kamba people are known to be excellent hosts, very hospitable and very polite people. So whenever you knock into a home of a Kamba, definitely expect to get a glass of water or even a plate of gideri that you will enjoy so with matters of hospitality and treating our guests well kamba people i think take number one in kenya we are known to be very hospitable very welcoming and very polite if you agree with that if you tend to disagree with that leave a comment down below let me know what makes you think that we Kamba people are not hospitable, we are not kind, because I so much believe that we are the most extremely hospitable and polite people in Kenya. Two, we are known to be very calm, loyal, and disciplined people. That is why you'll find most of the times Kamba people are assigned to very sensitive positions. The big Kamba are known to be very loyal and loyalty has earned us some level of respect in the country. We Kamba people are really blessed when it comes to creativity. We are number one when it comes to creativity in music, in dance, as well as craftsmanship. Actually, Ukambani is known to host the number one woodcarving center in the country called the Wamonyo Anti-Craft Center. So when it comes to craftsmanship, that one is non-negotiable. The Kamba people take number one. This nice well-crafted uh, souvenirs you see in those prestigious souvenir shops come from the land of Ukampan. So isn't that great? When it comes to creativity, Kamba, Kambas are known to be very creative. In summary, we love music, we love dance, we love life. Then this point is going to be interesting, but I know most of you agree with me because when it comes to searching for a wife in Kenya, the number one option is always to go for a Kamba lady. Why Kamba women? Why Kamba ladies? Leave a comment down below. Uh, many people say that Kamba women are very good in the kitchen, in the garden, and also in the bedroom. So what else do you need from a woman? We are career women. We are known to be very good cooks. We are known to be, very, to be housekeepers. And we also know how to keep our men. So there is nothing that puts off a Kamba lady than a man who is lazy and poor in bed. Did I just say that? Well, it is true. And you all know that. Leave a comment down below. 
we can talk forever <laughs> when you start a conversation with the camera unfortunately we do not know how to stop we always have opinions about everything remember when it comes to creativity we are always number one so a camera always has an answer for everything we are known to be very uh, <laughs> very creative in our language we are also very creative when it comes to our way of uh, communicating so there is never a dull moment when you are in a company of a camp we are also known to be very hard working people so whenever you have a camper in a team you will not get disappointed because we campers who are to Nagituma we are very hard working people I don't know what has been your experience with a Kamba, if you're working with a Kamba in your office, in your organization, maybe you can share with us what your experience has been working with a colleague who is a Kamba. I believe we are very hard working people and if you match that with the uh, character characteristic of being loyal and very calm when it comes to our approach to issues, I think we are very dependable when it comes to a work environment. Well, I'm not so sure about that one characteristic which uh, defines our camper men. Maybe you can help me out by leaving a comment down below in the comment section. For the ladies, it's obvious. We are known to be the number one wife brand in Kenya. Tried and tested. Hello. So, <laughs> For the men, I'm not so sure. Maybe you can help me out and uh, tell me what you think is that um, one outstanding characteristic which defines our Kamba men. For now that we have a Kamba man here representing the Kamba men from the great land of Ukampani, let me ask you, what do you think is that one characteristic which defines a Kamba man? Because for the ladies, it's obvious. We are the number one wife brand in Kenya. So tell us about the Kamba man, that one outstanding characteristic which defines a Kamba man. Hey, hey, brother, sister. One outstanding characteristic of a Kamba man, you can't miss. Akwenimkos, takwenwa. Akwenimkos, takwenwa. Machakos, akwenwa. Ketui, akwe. Ata ni wakongo ni vile tunaongeaga na Sabrano. Truth be told there. Yeah. Utawai pata mkamba at least 100% DNA anaongea na base. Tunasikia vile naongea. For real, Kambas, Kamba men don't have a base. A, a real Kamba men, man has no base. Eh. Truth of the matter. So I don't know. I don't know whether you'll say it's an advantage or disadvantage. But to me, it's an advantage because you made the best musician. Unajua na sema nga tulitoka nga Kongo. Kongo pia ana base. Na ndiyo maana wanaimba vizuri. So I would say that is a positive outstanding characteristics of a Kamba man. So at this point we come to the end of today's video. Summary of today's video. We Kamba people are fantastic, are awesome. So if you don't have yourself a Kamba friend, please get yourself one. And if, but if you cannot get one around you, I am a camper myself. So what you need to do, go ahead, subscribe to this channel. You already and yourself. You have already earned yourself a camper friend. Let's walk through this journey together and expect more amazing stories from this part of Kenya because that's where I currently reside. Then later on, we are going to expand and move to other areas discover together share our experiences and again remember we also have uh, our lifestyle part in this channel whereby we talk about our daily daily life experiences things which make us happy things which make us unhappy you know it is part of life and from that point of view we inspire each other and motivate each other that whatever you're going through you're not going through alone there are other people who are going through worse, uh, more worse situation that you're going through. So the major three themes of this channel are 
travel lifestyle and inspiration so if you haven't subscribed yet this is where you need to be go ahead subscribe watch my other videos and let's catch up in my next one